the earth her fans did wail and cry. Thelma, Thelma, please come back. Why did you leave us? Why? Thelma's best friend, Otis, and her all-time greatest fan, said, gee, they really miss you. We should help them if we can. Help them, blurted Thelma. You mean dress up like before. They don't need phony unicorns, of that I am quite sure. But Otis shook his shaggy head and said, I think they do. You're not phony, you're the best, and what they miss is you. You made people happy, they felt cheerful for a while. Who cares if the costume Thelma made people smile? There's nothing wrong with make-believe. You can be a star, as long as you remember what you love and who you are. But last time it was scary. Oh, and some of them were mean. Well, this time you'll have backup. I'm here for you, my queen. But I don't have my outfit. How can I disguise my face? Otis said I kept this and some glitter just in case. So just like that, they hit the road. They barely stopped to pack. They both had lots of work to do. The unicorn was back. The whole wide world was overjoyed, her fans all went berserk. But this time Thelma had her friend, and that's what made it work. Her fabulousness exploded like a joyful glitter bomb. While Otis cheered her from the wings, girl get your sparkle on. Lives were changed and fun was had, and love was in the air. And at the end of every day, her friend was always there. Otis watched her spread the love, he felt so very proud. Thelma could just do her thing, he handled every crowd. So when those mean old haters came to mock or diss or scoff, she felt so brave and happy, she could always shake it off. And on days off they'd cuddled up and beneath their favourite tree, and Otis would recite these words as Thelma smiled with glee. The world may not be perfect, yes a rose may have its thorns, but one thing is for certain, the world needs unicorns. <laughs>